Great. You gonna check in on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. So what happened the last time you were in Van Han? I still don't know how you got Freya to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freyr's camp. You met Freyr? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. But he's a bit quicker to forgive. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. Wow. It's beautiful. And, uh, wet. It is also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? Freya's camp is to the right. No rush, is that? Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. Fine to check in on Freya later. To Freya's camp then. Time to see how the Vanya have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered. And there is much I owe her. Reminds me of a Vanaheim song I heard long ago. everyone stay alert I don't like this brother Kratos, Atreus, a welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, piss-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? 
Hildis Vini. Remember when we first met Frey in the woods? After I... Oh. I am so, so sorry about that. Freya Spore. Her advisor and friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Where's Freya? She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freya and Big Fear. They've been captured by the Ainher Yard. How did that happen? An ambush. The presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. Or at least I assume. Not easy, tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You have my gratitude. We're spread thin, and if anyone can help Skoll and Hati, he'd be a fellow giant. Very well. I imagine we have a great business. You don't disappoint. Continue down this path, and you'll find their death. Good luck. And don't shoot any boars! <laughs> you think he's really forgiving me for shooting him? Trust me, lad. The old swine still carried a grudge. You'd know it. What happened between you two? The usual. Miscommunication, conflicting loyalties, broken promises. Nothing to concern yourself with. I'm not concerned. Just curious. Curiosity's all well and good. But so is privacy, huh? Okay, okay. <laughs> Point taken. and feels so different from the other realms. It's warm, like Svartalfheim, but there's a kind of thickness in the air. Hmm. Egros. Uh, what? Egros. Greek. For humid. Egros. I like it.
Wonder where they went. Eaten by a knockin, perhaps. Doubtful. Going for more loot, huh? I saw a forge back at Freyer's camp. Has Brock been helping them out this whole time? Ah, you haven't met Lunda yet. Who's Lunda? An old contemporary of the Huldra brothers. She serves as Freyer's blacksmith, keeping his team armed and outfitted. Oh, another legendary blacksmith? I bet she has some good stories. Take caution, Atreus. What? Why? She is quite... friendly. <laughs> Oh, nonsense. The lad's far too young for her taste. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, lad. This excursion into Vanaheim means you've now visited each of the Nine Realms. Huh. Guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. Hildas Vini said Freyr and Bigvir were captured. Who's Bigvir? He's a Light Elf. A former scholar exiled from Alfheim with his wife Bela. She may be their best warrior. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Bela's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. Hope he's okay.
This Ragnarok begins when Skull and Hati catch the sun and moon, right? I said it was foretold, lad. Prophecy. Which, after our time with the Norns, we've all had quite enough of. But Odin still believes. That's gotta be why the Einherjar stole the moon. He's still trying to avoid Ragnarok. Or he prepares for it. Fights a proxy war in this realm to distract his enemies. Yeah. Or that, I guess.
I can sense them up there. It's got to be their den. Excited to meet Skull and Hattie, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's going to be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. They're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves. Supremely entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, best we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. The Aenor Yar played a part according to Skull and Hati Shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? A bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try there first. So besides Hildas Feeney and the Elves, who else is part of Freyr's army? Not much army, really. Although Beergirl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice.
Did you see that? I didn't know they could do that. A new enemy. Stay alert. Yeah? Correct. There she is again. Guess they know we're coming. I can't believe no one's here. They hide. The Vanir aren't all hardened warriors <laughs> like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. Okay, here we go. Where'd they all go? Wait, there's the moon. Uh, box? Down there. That's gotta be it. <laughs> this is definitely an ambush. We can get to it from up here! Ha! <laughs> 
That puts a dent in Odin's forces, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. Hey, hurry! She's getting away! Come on! A double ambush? Okay, didn't see that coming. Outcome! Oh! Brother, just covered in my rod. Come on. A double ambush? Okay. Didn't see that coming. Oh. Does that? You know, what we're doing right now, all of this, it's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hati Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. Yes, I remember the prophecy. So, doesn't it make you worried? If everything we're doing now happened in the Yonar Shrine? Remember our agreement. Prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah. Our allies need help. That is our focus now. Brother, we've taken a wrong turn. Our thief's gone skyward. Careful, lads. 
Timed almost to grab this while I freed Garm. Ugh. I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. We can return to the den through here. They will pursue. Keep your guard up. Father, how are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the Giants said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. Walking straight into Ragnar. Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from. Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement. The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives. So be it.
You got nothing. Just like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Good choice, lad. They have a gift for us. A way to call them anytime we need them. Looks like they want us to use it at one of the altars. Hmm. Perhaps Freya will know. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hilda's Penny and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the camp. Look out! Very, very egros. Liking it less now. That wasn't the same one from earlier, was it? No. They come back fast, but not that fast. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anhariar we've been fighting, they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. Should it come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said. It will not come to that.
like the egros. We can get across from up here. So, we report back to Hilda's Feeney, then what? We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the Light Elf. Okay, but Odin's not gonna stop searching for masterpieces. That is his concern, not ours. Sure, but if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact a price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes, father. Plants here want to kill us? No, no. Only the carnatious ones. Who's that? Ah, that wrinkly mug belongs to Helka. She's a blossender. Hounds prized for their pinpoint accurate tracking abilities. You'll love her. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Vela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. 
Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. The fuse is but 30 heartbeats. That's it. <clears throat> Once you see the signal, count it down. Appreciate it. Come, Kratos. We should get moving. gave us a scepter. They will answer, should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Njord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einar Yar are holding fair in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Bigfear, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just the scepter to do it. Plan. When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Vela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesfini slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat. being held in a prison to the north. Follow Freya, brother. Yeah, I'm 